Hello everyone, my name is Mitchell and welcome back. So, what I'm going to do here is set a scolding status to all of my guys. Or I do want to indi individually scold everyone. So, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna do that and cut the video because it's gonna be just me clicking here, confirm. Here, confirm, so yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, so now we're back. I actually did that to all my contracted players. You can filter them out from here. So anyway, now that that is done, I think we were heading off to the training camp. It has been about a week when I last time played. Sorry about that if somebody is following, but... But, but, I had to finish off the XCOM game. So how, how does it look like? It's It will start on the 9th, uh, 12th day. So I still have a couple days to play. And we have some practice games or exhibition games I suppose. And, and, and then the NHL will start. So. Let's see. I don't remember what options I said. So yeah, okay. I don't wanna use these on the exhibition games. Let the coach use whatever whatever he he deems necessary. So now there's pretty much nothing else to do than wait for those two guys to came off from come off from waivers so we can get rid of them. And on the 10th or 11th day I will recall all my guys into my squad and nothing happened, okay. And I will uh, I will see which will what will be my team. I want to call every player I have to the training camp. I guess it's a bit, a bit role playing, so to say, because you can pretty much see if the player is good enough for the NHL or not. But it's something I like to do because otherwise the training camp is kind of, kind of useless. At least it used to be. I'm not actually sure if they have changed it for this version. Jeremy Prodder, really. Yeah, I'm not that I'm not that impressed. Nikolai Ladiagin. Ladugin. Right, I put him on the <laughs> on the scouting duty. Crap. So this is the okay defenseman. He's old, but he's okay. I do wonder if we need to make more room into the roster. I do I do wanna get him because he's he's okay. So where did I see that? No. Mm, ah, there was some some obscure page for that. Finances, no. I mean, mm. there is, there is a option to see all the players contracted to the team. Is it on the roster? Yeah, roster management, right. No, this is the quick way to transfer players between NHL and other leagues. So not the... Hey, it was the reserve list, right. Okay, so we have 50 contracted, same as 
before, so I think I need to waver someone before accepting that that trade. We have tons of goalies. He's not really that god, but he's still young. I'm kind of looking for someone who I, who I can just waver and put off. He's young, but he's not that good. He's actually pretty bad. He's terrible, to be honest. With these stats, mental stats, and yeah, he's not gonna, he's not gonna make it ever. But he's still young, so I could make a trade out of him. Then again, I guess all the players on Maple Leafs are young right now. I mean, he's certainly pretty bad. He's a defensive forward, apparently. But anticipation 7, very slow. Yeah. I'm sorry, Kloon. But you are gonna go on the waivers. Defenseman from Minnesota, right? Yeah, Leopold is okay. I mean, he's not by any any standard excellent or I mean first line guy, but he, he can he can play on the third line maybe. Jeremy Bracco, it's one of my. My young guys. Scouts like him. Well, I guess he could develop into something, but I really doubt it. One thing I was going to do was to close that open <laughs> open invitation system, but I guess I forgot. So, well. We have plenty of everyone pretty much accepts there. Hardikainen and Miflik. Is this one of the coaches? He's one of the scouts, I think. Yeah. So now we are starting to have plenty of players. We can already no open camp. I think we will go with four teams. And I think I will see one more day. Hopefully it will give me an 11 day. Right. Andre Chichman. Another scout. Sure. Okay. Now I want to do thing which is not probably something you should not do but what I like to do is that get everyone on the on the Maple Leafs roster this will rise my 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 salaries through the roof for two weeks but in the long run, it doesn't actually matter that much. What it causes is that the, my affiliate teams like AHL and EH, ECHL, they will try to recruit some other players usually and fill their roster that way. So I might not have room to <laughs> throw back my all my guys. Especially the each each HL team seems to seem to get full pretty much every time. But okay, so here we are. All right, I was in this weird view. Let's go once again. Uh, reset teams. So now we have uh, more than one goalie on each team. Decent amount of players. Yep, it should be good training camp. So let's continue.
bit green. Okay. Schulz. Another skull. Okay, so he's the German skull. Gonna put put the new scout in the opposition right now. Mm, where is he? It was Chichman. Yeah, slower king, okay. Was it Slovakia? Yeah, yeah, it was Slovakia. I always mix Czech and Slovakia. Or sometimes, let's just say that. Okay, intensive, no uh, recaps. And permanent, of course. Okay. Now the uh, training camp should start, so we will see some role playing information. I want to say. <laughs> Dynamic winger Mitch Mitchell Marner. Right, we actually have Mitchell Marner. He was one of the top guys in the draft. But not really that impressive in the game, unfortunately. With these stats I don't believe he will even make make NHL to be honest. At least not in my team. Victor Mete. Hmm. Very bad technical skills. Otherwise okay. Leivo Can we buy you out? Unfortunately this is something we have to do because we have too many players Otherwise I would be just fine by trading them but Nobody would want them and I need to get rid of them right now. Okay. So I guess the negotiation is enough to to handle this situation. Travis Dermot. Excellent prospect. Yeah, I, I mean this is the one of the gripes I have with the game because it's obvious to me that he's not going to make any kind of impact in the game. Unless he gets ve very very big boost in the mental stats and technical stats. But yeah, I usually the players don't improve that much. All of my scores think, well, two of my scores think that he's excellent prospect. Decent prospect is better or more close to the real value, I would say. So you don't want to leave. Both of you refuses. Well, then I'm just going to re release you. Releasing them actually costs more for me. Nope. So you do want to negotiate first. But I'm happy with releasing those two outfit players. Poppy Carpenter. Assistant coach. I do actually wonder if we have room for additional I think we can have one more coach yeah 
Yeah, I'm fairly certain. So we don't have to sack anyone yet. Otherwise, I would have to uh, sack someone before accepting that new guy. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. No. Brandon Alderson. Plenty of news. Donna, Donna Key. <laughs> I don't even know. Again, terrible, terrible, terrible stats. Wow, we need to get rid of many of our young guys. Even he is a lot better. You could actually try to trade right away. He's considered to be a three-star player. Mm. Maybe they are a little bit overvaluing him. But we have many, many terrible players. Like Dermot. Cody Donahue. So I'm actually happy if we can trade these two guys for that one. Okay guys, that would also re uh, give us some roster room. So why not? Oh, there's the new option. Gauge interest? Couch? <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah. So they're overvaluing him. I mean, he's not going to be Francis player, I don't think. He, he might be okay. But let's do the offer anyway. I seriously doubt that the table will take it. Clune injured. No. Shit happens, I guess. I'll put him on seven days. Fire. One useful player. <laughs> So, you spotted two players on all this time. Well, I suppose I should, I should be happy with that. Leading the way in fitness was James von Reims, Dark Tune, Fanef. No wonder, because they are highly high stamina players. And actually, both seem pretty good. And there's these guys who have stamina of eight, so no wonder. So Kasperi Kapanen, another Finnish great. Wow, he's actually pretty bad in this game. His mentals are just terrible. So yeah. Lucas Persini. Not so much. Thanks, but no thanks. Enter Scott, sure. What else can we do? It actually takes quite a long time to generate the turns already. Maybe I was a little bit too too free to or too crazy to add all those leagues. So we have we have some scouts to put on our duty. So it's very good. Financials have really not been the issue in this game. Something, it's definitely a side I maybe I would like to see them to improve, but we'll see if they ever make a new version. And the financial management is just 
it's just lacking. Then again, I don't really know what you could do about it. Now we have excellent players. No wonder because they're from NHL. Yeah, I would call Patrick Kane excellent. Max Pazieretti. Yeah, these are the players you really won't get. Usually, no matter how much you offer. I mean, they're just... For age of 21. Well, he has low anticipation, but... Or mediocre, I should say. But otherwise, he's gonna be great. So I'm not gonna even bother with that. I just want to see what, what kind of players we have around. Pensacola, right. So we had the new gold, or a couple new. Right, Miklicki will be our Aeropis gold, so... Uh, region. Oh, it's divided, eh? Well, I guess it's uh, Eastern Europe then. I don't expect these scouts to ever find anything, but it's one of those role-playing things. I mean, why not? They don't cost really that much. And he's going to do the Germany. Yeah. Who else? Martin Davies. Okay, so he's the uh, Czechs or Czechoslovakian or Czech. <laughs> it's just Czech now. Czech guy. Czech Republic, right? Okay. So let's continue the scanning. Scanning. I'm still in the XCOM. I mean, uh, continue the turn. <laughs> Scanning was something you do in XCOM too. If you have not seen that. Right. Yeah, I'm not a surprise the trade was turned down. Now we are expected to make first cuts. And it's something I like to do. But it's a tedious process, so I will probably cut it out. Anton Bibio. Yeah. I mean, he's a goalie, so maybe he will develop into something, but not likely. So, there's many ways to do the cutting process. But I usually go with Go with simple stats, average rating. See who has been very, very bad. Like Tim Caver here. Right, he's on turn out. Turn, try out. I mean, not turn out, try out. He's terrible, terrible player. So, absolutely. Terminate. And just generally kick everyone who has been doing bad and is a bad player. There's no need to for them to stay at the end of the end of the thing. Now he has actually very very much potential, so I'm gonna uh, hmm who was our scout uh who is our coach with high high player potential and ability. Backbrook is okay. Bobby Carpenter and maybe Jim Hiller. Right. So Jim Hiller, Carpenter and Babcock. Those are the three coaches I'm interested in. Their opinion because they know what they're talking about. Now why not take the Fusier report? So this, 
you cannot really trust these, but sometimes they reveal something you want to know. So Babcock thinks he will be a good player. But he's very inconsistent. I'm not sure if you can see his inconsistency yet. The players who are generated by the game are have usually usually their uh, consistency somewhere around here consistency rating I'm not sure if it's if it's still in this game because on all players it's hidden so he's inconsistent yeah everyone thinks fantastic talent inconsistent hmm. And one of our crowd guys did not see that. So what is our I think we own rights to this player. Yeah. Expert date in two years. Yeah, so we're gonna cut him. And we will probably try to trade him off. Should actually, I should actually create a note. I hope that's how you type it. Okay. Where did that actually go? I think it's supposed to go right here. Maybe there. Oh, yeah, it will go under the contract. Okay. Yep. So that is just so we don't we don't actually pick him up or really try to make him a good player. And uh, as always, these are not reflections on the real life. It's just a game. Most of the stats are generated by random generation. So I don't, I don't even have a clue how Jeremy Praco is in real life. Victor Love. I don't think he has any kind of any kind of hope to make the team. So. Is he easy HL bad? I think he is good for the AHL. Really bad players, I do want to drop down to the easy HL if possible. But yeah, I will show rest of the cutting process or cut off the rest of the cutting process because it's it's kind of long process. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, so now I've got all the players I wanna cut. I'm actually gonna... Well, maybe there is enough for the fourth team. Yeah, sure. No, the one team will only have one on each player, so... It's a bit lot for a two-team scrimmage, but... Yep. So, I sent few of my guys out they will leave tomorrow so let's continue I sent some players in the waivers it is kind of bad to send them on the waivers before everyone else sends all their players on the waivers because they could easily get grabbed now but they were players I don't really need or want oh interesting Five star player, eh? Well, he is only 15 years old, but these stats are pretty bad. Maybe I will still put him on the short list. Just to keep track on him. Oh, there was another. I mean, that order. ULV, only ULV. Finish guy. 
Oh, I actually think I saw her play him play in the under 18 World Cup or World Championship, I should say, not the cup. And yeah, he was pretty impressive in real life. Yeah, I'm gonna shortlist him. It's not that impressive, but he's Finnish guy, so yeah. <laughs> You will end up having some borderline prospects anyway. Might as well be someone you like. You got more young players, Aspun to Rasmus. He has actually decent mental stats, <clears throat> but he doesn't have the skills, but we will see. I mean, I don't even actually even know how the skill progression goes in this game. Is it still the same system than in the game before? Could be. Or could not be. I could be totally wrong, so... Maybe I will keep my eye on a few of these guys. We have some new guys. Yeah, nobody wanted Gloom. He's, he's AHL level player. So he's going to play. Oh wait, I was gonna kick him. Right. We have two players on the waivers now. So maybe I will wait until they clear as well. Maybe maybe one of them got gets snatched up by another team. Who knows? All of a sudden, so yeah, these are the guys I cut. Exciting prospects, eh? Jared McIsaac. Again, I seriously doubt it, but I'm gonna shortlist him anyway. Can always remove him. Yes, the Pulju Jarve is, or yes, the Pulju Jarve is excellent, excellent player on the next, uh, on the real life. I mean, did not actually know that he's from the Sweden, or born in the Sweden, and he's pretty good here as well. So I'm gonna start listening. One of the top players in this year's draft. According to everyone, <clears throat> 13 years old. That's young. Yeah, sure. But, yeah. Actually, his skills are not that high in the game. I was expecting a little more, to be honest. But we will see how he develops or not. I'm not interested in useful players. It's kind of strange. Do we have? Yeah, we have one one player too much. Okay, so one of these guys need to go. I'm just thinking who is the worst one. Campbell. I guess Fratin is better. Campbell is pretty bad, but that first guy, who was it? Kloon. Kloon is actually worse, I think. We might as well compare. Oh yeah, Campbell was a defenseman. So it will be you, Kloon. Just like we have. Agreed. I doubt you will negotiate, but I will try. What was the morning scrimmage? Marco Bello putting in some effort. Peter Holland. Yeah, he's decent. Sure. Let's check the next day. Oh, that's my phone, don't mind that. 
Yeah, not a surprise, another player doesn't wanna negotiation because he will m make more money this way. Sodom, yeah, Sodom luck. Yeah, it's a good scot. Prestings predators won't make it. These are, yeah, he's the one of the young guys which is cut from the camp. I mean, he he has a chance, but I doubt he will make it. He definitely won't make it. Yeah, he's terrible. Dakota Joshua during recent weeks, limited potential and won't struggle to crack up. Uh, wrong quick. No. <laughs> Dakota Joshua, yeah. Sorry, kid. You want to make it? Tony Nato. Not good enough. I have to agree with that. He's terrible. Nolan Vizi. Wow. Great, great mental stats, but his technicals are just abysmal. Wow. What a shame. He has all the stats, mental stats needed for a great player. Such shame. I would I would take these mental stats on pretty much every star player I am. Jared Cohen is on the block. Yeah, I don't. I'm not that interested. Oh, today we actually have first game, so gonna be some kind of B team. Let's see what the AI does. Oh, we lost. Yeah. Ratings say that we have one injured. Of course it's hard to go into it. <laughs> one of the top young players, even with that bad, bad anticipation. But yeah, this definitely wasn't our first first class team. They actually had Flurry in the goal and Crosby. So they had pretty much their first team. I guess we had had the top players as well. So interesting is what is this? What this is. But we definitely lost that game. About a week doesn't cause any kind of action. Frank Corredo. Good prospect. Yeah, he's actually okay. He already has him have him on his contract, so fairly good player. Fairly good, I would say. Pretty bad. Yeah, another okay guy. I'm not gonna actually check all these because they are my guys, I already have them. I'm kinda interested what they think about Kasper. So they think that he won't he won't uh, develop. Like Bobby Ryan. Doesn't look anything like Bobby Ryan to me. Not even close. So, unfortunately, it looks like Kasper Kapanen is not gonna make the team this in this game. We will see. Ramsey. Okay, so now we have an extra coach. We need to get one, rid of our bad coach. And it definitely is Graham Townsend. Sorry, dude. You're gonna have to leave. Now, I don't wanna do too much of these sackings because first, it feels bad, man. And second, it will upset the team at some point. 
that is usually my biggest mistake that I make too many trades and upset my whole team. So, yeah, that was the er first game. Not, not that exciting. I will form my team after the training camp is done. But yeah, okay. So I think this is a good spot to end the video. And see you guys in the next episode. Bye.